drill through this now. much came out so much came out this carbide drill is just amazing this carbide drill bit see so much came out I'm sure the hole is almost through see wow see so much of that screw came out wow Probably through already. Wow. I think that the, the whole the, the my guess is this. I guess is this my guess it's through already I can probably test it with this metal this tiny metal here to see if that's the case yeah see that see that this is part of the part of that that screw butt that I drill off with the carbide drill bit whoa it's not through yet it's amazing I thought it went through but not yet yeah, I couldn't push this through, but um, it's definitely a good one eighth of an inch. That was a lot of stuff came out. So I'm trying to collect all the metal that came out of there. I see so much of it. the carbide drill carbide drill bit let's try this one left in drill bit move it to reverse
not even bite into the screw, but pull out a lot of junk. Wow, so much junk, look. I think we're almost through. I'm gonna use that uh, metal to test it. I think we're almost through. Well, almost, but not quite, not quite through this yet. Okay, we're going to continue the drill. Okay, more carbide, carbide drill. Drill. One, two, three. I think that's almost through. Oh my goodness, I think it's biting. So I'm going to try to use reverse and see if I can pull this thing out of there. Move this to reverse. I'm going to use slow. Whoa! Now it's worse. I got the carbide drill bit broken in there, which is even worse. <sighs> I should just continue to drill. Damn. That's what I should continue to do. Shouldn't stop. I should not stop. Shit, now I'm in trouble. Damn it. Yeah, that carbide drill bit broken in there. Damn, I'm almost there. I should just continue and not stop. Shit, now I can't pull that thing out. See my carbide uh, drill bit stuck down there, and luckily I have this small long nose plier that I can grab onto that a little bit so I can turn counterclockwise and hopefully pull my broken drill bit out of there. Um, you know, so that's what happens when you stop in the middle. You should not stop in the middle of drilling. You should just continue to drill. That's my mistake. I was hoping to reverse the drilling process, but that's a bad call. I should just continue to drill through this instead of stopping. And that's why I um, wasn't able to hold my power drill straight and I broke the tiny um, drill bit. I'm just trying to hopefully, as you can see here, very tight maneuvering trying to turn this thing the drill bit yeah see it's turning now so I'm hoping that I can back this drill bit out of that hole I think I'm doing it try to do it with the 
camera on, so I'm going to stop the camera, but you can see it's, it's turning, and right now it's in the position of, what is it, 10 o'clock to 4 o'clock, so I'm going to slowly turn this counterclockwise, and hopefully I'll be able to pull this drill bit out of there with my small broken drill bit out of there with my small needle nose plier. And this is a Craftsman 45661 parts number small needle plier. Okay, I can't use one hand to pull so I have to stop recording and you can see it's turning. Now it's Instead of 10 to 4, now it's 2 o'clock and 8 o'clock. So I'm going to slowly see now it's turned again with a lot of patience to back this broken drill bit out of there. See, it's turning. Okay, this is a significant progress here because I am, oh, no. Oh, I don't know how this little piece broke off in there. Oh, dang, I didn't drill, I didn't turn this thing straight. That's what happened. So now I'm gonna put it side by side so you can see how much is left in there it's still a lot left in there dang okay you can see now i got half of it out of there but broke again oh no i will never get this out out of there this carbide drill bit and see what's going on there. See if I, I can do that. Okay. I use this hammer um, after I broke it so many times and I decided just to hammer, hammer this easy out drill into that hole and looks like it's binding. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn this thing slowly and surely Counterclockwise, and hopefully I'll get this back on it. Broken screw. You know. Yeah. So, let's see. Back this out really slow. Lots of patience. Oh, it's turning. Whoa, oh, dang. Came off. But that's okay. We'll hammer this back in again. Because it's binding. There you go. Yeah, it's binding again. Turn this thing. So this is the easy out. I'm trying to see if I can back out this screw here.
finds again. It's turning. Yeah, it's turning. But, uh, oh, this is bad. It's a bad idea. Nope. It looks like it's it's backing that screw out of there. Yeah, this is not doing it. Oh, it is backing the screw out of there as we speak. You can see that. Oh, bad idea. But it's a bad idea because it keeps stopping here. Okay, good. The screw is coming out. See, look. It's coming out. Oh my goodness. Look. I did it. I did it. Holy cow. See that? I did it. did it. Came out of there. After I sacrificed both, after I broke both carbide drill bit and also broke, see how many? Two, four, six, eight, nine. I broke one of the left hand drill. You know, and finally got this screw out of here using the smallest harbor freight 
easy out. So as you can see here, I'm trying to Now this is the broken screw in there and this is the hover freight this is the hover freight easy out man this is excellent did a good job in uh, getting this out of here see that beautiful this is the broken drill and this is the easy out the smallest one smallest one according to them extractor size is um, 332 532 inches you know it's pretty small as you can see this is the smallest smallest one so this is very useful I'm gonna keep it but I think in the future I'm gonna buy more of these 116s drill bit because those are the ones that uh, can do the job and this one is broken too see that you know the smallest one the the 564 inches is also broken anyway so uh that concludes uh this work which is right here which is right here this is the broken screw as you can see here totally i got it out totally See that broken screw? See that? See that broken screw? It's amazing. I was able to get it out using the uh, hover freight. But, you know, the, the truth of the matter is I use these two guys. The carbon, um, yeah, so many of them broken drill. So many broken drill. And I uh, had to use hammer and hammer that um, easy out into here. And I was able to get the screw out. So I'm going to buy new screws here. And then um, see here is the cylinder. I, I you know I taped it so that uh, no metals will go into go down that uh, cylinder in there, you know, which is important when you do this, you know. So I'm gonna be able to buy screws here, screws here, and that'll be a business. And these are the two long screws that I'm supposed to buy for this lead blower. And then this lead blower will um, be able to be uh, resurrect again. So you know, thanks to the Harbor Freight, Harbor Freight. 12 pieces screw extractor set you know don't buy the left hand don't buy the left hand the chinese made left hand uh, drill bit no good 16 inches no good but the carbide drill bit will definitely do the job and then uh, use hammer to uh hammer uh but i'll save these for the future i mean the small you know small um other small job you know this one is broken too you see you know so I'm not gonna save that anyway so the carbide drill is the way to go and uh, you see Harbor Freight ti Titan titanium uh, drill bits also broke and only one left you know the 16 inches so I'm gonna put this Titan bit you know seven pieces only one left and the two carbon carbon uh, bits also uh, died or broken you know so I'm gonna buy more you know for future use you know these are really good um, yeah but uh, mission accomplished I was able to get it out so you know just thanks to Harbor Freight you know it's amazing finally did it I'm gonna take a picture These are the titania broken bits, I think. So the broken bits. All the broken bits. <laughs> 